while we're in the process of making rabbits, uh, dado is pretty much the exact same thing. So let's just create a piece of plywood here. Sure, that looks nice. P for push pull, and let's go up with a thickness of 0.75 inches. Enter. Now, to create a dado in the middle of your piece, you just need to draw two lines next to each other, really. So let's select this line, M for move, control brings up copy, and I want a dado to start three inches in. So three, three, enter. And then I want it to uh, be a half inch wide dado. So let's click on this, press control for copy, and go in the direction we want, 0.5 inches, enter. This gives us a nice little rectangular face that we can P for push pull, select the face, and then type in our distance of say 0.25 inches, enter. That's all there is to a dado. It's pretty much the same thing as a rabbit as far as moving stuff around. So once again, select this line. Uh, let's, you know what, let's actually make a stop dado here. Let's select this line, M for move, control brings up copy, and I want this stop dado to be, uh, I don't know, nine inches from the top. And this stop dado is also going to be, let's see, control brings up copy. This stop dado is also gonna be 0.5 inches wide and P for push pull and you can select this face and don't be worried about not being able to see what's going on here you know you can figure out like you can type in your distance or all you have to do is simply go to any reference face that you want and say I want it to be the same depth as this point and it will update wherever you are at so right there enter and that gives us a nice little stop data and you can delete this line if you want. Long dado and a stop dado, very easy.